Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it is almost 10 a.m. on Thursday morning. I am actually about to head to my hair appointment. And y'all, I can't even tell you how excited I am to get my hair done like professionally. I've been doing it um, from a box at home the last couple times, which has been fine and I really like the color, but I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this dark brown, as much as I love it, it shows my grays so much, which I've told y'all before, I've complained about before on Instagram, and it's like, my grandfather went completely like white hair when he was like, I don't know, 30 or 35, and I definitely got that gene because I have so much gray. It's gotten worse and worse and worse, obviously. I'm getting older, so it's just getting a lot crazier. I can't even really put my hair up in a ponytail anymore. Look at that because it's just there's so much gray and I can't deal so I'm gonna go lighter I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna talk to my stylist and kind of see what she thinks I have a bunch of pictures I found you know on Instagram and Pinterest and things like that um, of hair that I love but I definitely want to put some I don't know highlights or baby lights or balayage I'm not really sure but I definitely want to go a little bit lighter um, to give it a little bit more dimension and cover up those grays and like camouflage them so that's what we're gonna have to do um i know a lot of y'all love the dark hair and so do i but again i just i can't deal with all my grays so we're just gonna have to go a little bit lighter um but i'm really excited definitely need a trim for sure so i don't know like how short i'm gonna cut it a couple inches maybe but anyway um i will definitely let you guys know how it looks afterwards my mom is here my mom got here on sunday and she's here until this coming sunday so she's staying with us for a week i do not have my mount my car mount anymore it broke a while ago i think like during the move um take the first exit i definitely need to buy a new one like asap because i cannot vlog in the car without my car mount in half a mile turn right all right you guys i am back from the salon and I think it looks so good. She did like kind of like a balayage with I think some highlights or baby lights. I'm not even really sure, but she definitely added some blonde in there so we could camouflage all of the gray. And I love it. I think it looks so, so pretty, very healthy. We had to cut like, I don't know. I think she cut off like five to six inches. Um, so it definitely is shorter, but my hair was like completely dead at the ends. Um, so she said it was like pretty much needed and I think it looks so good. It's definitely going to cover up the gray now um, And it looks so much healthier. So I will show you guys tomorrow in better lighting, but I love it Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and I wanted to share my lashes with you guys. I get questions all the time um, on my lashes, and I do use the Blink of Fly. I've talked about these so many times on Instagram, um, but they are the freaking coolest things ever. I don't need to go get extensions anymore, and it saves me so much time and so much money. Um, I apply them once a week, and they last me a full week, and you can put as many as you want on. So if you only want like two of the little clusters on the ends just for a little bit of 
you know, something on your lashes, you can do that or you can use the full set or three of them. I only use three of them. I don't even use four of them. And they're super easy to apply. Like once you get the hang of it, you do have to apply them underneath your lash line. I'm going to do a tutorial soon on Instagram and share it with you guys. A lot of questions about that as well um, because they are a little bit different to apply. But I think that's the reason they last so long is because you put them under your lashes. And then that way you don't see like the band or anything like that. They look real. Like they're really cool. Um, Actually, when I got my hair done, all the girls were asking me where I get my extensions from, and I told them that they were these lashes, and they, like, couldn't believe it. So, highly recommend these lashes if you're looking for, um, you know, ones that look like extensions, but you don't actually want to go get them. Or if you don't really want to commit to extensions, I think these are a great alternative. Again, my favorite are the Darling, and I also love the Classic. As you can see, I'm almost out of the classic. Those are really nice. If you like your lashes like very thick and full, then definitely go for the queen. Um, I'm gonna link them down below and I have a coupon code with them, which is Liza10 to save y'all 10% off. Um, but yeah, this is what I use. Okay, so it is the next day. My mom and I took the boys to Trader Joe's and we went on a little Target run. I'm gonna share everything that I got from both Trader Joe's and Target and some of the home decor things that I got um, the other day as well. This is the first time I've been to Trader Joe's, I'm not even kidding, since before the pandemic started last spring. Like, I don't even remember last time I ate anything from Trader Joe's and I've missed it so much. So, I picked up some Kung Pao chicken. This is one of their frozen items, it's really good. Um, and then I love buying their jasmine rice. I think three packs are in here. I really wanted the orange chicken too, but they were completely sold out, so that sucks. Um, picked up this Harvest apple salad kit. My mom said this is really good. Um, there's cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, pecans with apple vinaigrette, and then I think I'm gonna throw some rotisserie chicken in here too. Grainless granola, sweet and salty clusters made with almonds, coconut, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. I'm going to try this out with some yogurt. And then I bought just these little, like, fruit crushers, the apple banana for the boys. They were eating them in Trader Joe's. Um, and then the little silver dollar pancakes, which the boys love for breakfast. I got my favorite fig and olive crisps. Um, showed you the rice. And then some organic mac and cheese for the boys. They love this. Um, so... It's so fun because the Trader Joe's here actually sells alcohol. And back in Maryland, um, in Montgomery County where I lived, the Trader Joe's did not sell any alcohol. None of the grocery stores did. So it was really exciting uh, to find the wine and beer in there. So I picked this up. Um, my mom said she saw someone recommended this. So I'm going to try it out. And then also, I had to get this one because I saw Snoop Dogg and I just, I grabbed it. And then my mom and I want to try this Stockyard Oatmeal Stout beer um so i grabbed two of these jalapeno sauces these are so good um especially to put like on tacos or fajitas or any kind of mexican dish really really yummy and then picked up some jumbo cinnamon rolls trader joe's has really good cinnamon rolls some more of my hot and sweet jalapenos i haven't had these in so long this you guys if you can find this at trader joe's definitely pick it up i haven't had this in a while it's seasonal for sure but um I was surprised actually to see it there. So it is a barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic. It sounds a little strange, but I'm not kidding. Like if you put this on your chicken, um, it is really, really good seasoning for chicken. This is something new I've never tried, Italian bomba hot pepper sauce. I just figured I could put this like on pizza or um, pasta. And then I, of course, had to pick up my chili onion crunch. And then this is something new. I saw this on Instagram, hot, hot, crispy habanero peppers. Um, the girl who, I forget who I was watching, but it seemed like they were extremely hot. Um, so I'm excited to try these. And then I picked up three, three of my garlic spreads. I am so excited to finally have this again. I eat this on literally everything. I grabbed some spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. Um, I got the vegetable pasta. I'm going to try and make this for the boys to eat. And uh, Cam really wanted a watermelon. Um, I think that's everything I picked up. Also, I grabbed this. I've never tried this coffee before, but uh, my mom and I really wanted to try it, and it's really good. So grab that, and that's, that's pretty much it for Trader Joe's. Okay, so my mom and I took the boys to Target today. 
as well. I needed to find them some new shoes because literally all they have are natives, which if you know what natives are, they're like these like little rubbery shoes with holes in them. They're for summertime or spring. Um, and it's been like raining and freezing cold. So they don't have the proper shoes. Camden has grown out of like all the shoes I've bought him, like his vans and everything, like he's just completely grown out of. And so he needed just some like closed shoes, like sneakers or something. Um, and then Quentin needed like some, uh, warm boots for when we go on walks and he also needed sneakers so I wanted to swing by Target and see what they had and then Quentin also needed um, some more clothes he's like growing so quickly he's growing out of all of his clothes so I wanted to um, check the boys department and see what they had then I went to the home decor aisle to look at some home decor because um, I told y'all that I went shopping with my mom at we went to home goods and we went to Kirkland's a few days ago and I got some really cute things that I'm going to show you guys after I do this haul but I needed a few more things for the living room anyway let's jump right into the Target haul this is like so random you guys like very random so it's gonna be kind of all over the place but um, I picked up this cute white throw from Threshold it's very soft I actually got a really cute basket for my throws that I'm putting on the fireplace and I'll show you guys that's something I got from Kirkland's but I needed like one more throw to put in it so I picked this up <clears throat> um, this is one of the things I got for Quentin he has like a raincoat and then I got the boys some really nice heavy winter coats um, but he needed kind of like an in-between coat um, and so I thought this was really cute it's like very soft Sherpa material and I really like the color so pick that up for him I got a 2T <laughs> goldfish um, Quentin was eating this in Target because he was like screaming for a snack and then Cam really wanted the Avengers goldfish So I just got both of these <clears throat> And then Oh, this is something that's supposed to be in the freezer. Uh Oh, I hope this isn't melted My mom told me about these in the freezer section of Target. It's called true fru raspberries frozen in white and dark chocolate and she said they are amazing like the best snack ever and I've been really wanting to try them so I grabbed these but now I'm gonna go throw these in the freezer because I'm like worried that they're melted so I'll be right back Quentin is trying to get in here right now um okay this is something else I got from Target this is from the Threshold brand it's the faux olive arrangement I love olive trees, olive plants. I'm like really into them right now and you know they're very like trendy, but I think they're so beautiful. I actually ordered an olive tree to go in my living room, so I'll share that with you guys when it comes in. Um, but this is just a little faux olive arrangement that I think I'm gonna put on the mantle. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet or not, but I thought it was really pretty, so I'm gonna see um, how it looks on the mantle. All right. These are the sneakers I ended up getting for Camden. They were just like super easy to put on, you guys. It's like a Velcro strap, and I think they're kind of cool looking too. And then they stretch open, so there's no laces or anything like that. Um, I thought the colors were pretty cool, and Camden loved them, and they fit really well. So just picked these up from Target for Cam, and he is size 13. Um, and then... And then these are the cute little boots I got for Quentin. They have like the Sherpa inside, so they're super warm. Um, they're by Cat and Jack, and they zip up on the side. So, pick those up for Q. And then I also got Q some sneakers, just these little red ones. These are also Cat and Jack, um, and they you don't actually tie them up. They have the like the fake laces. Um, you just Velcro them. I like I'm so laces with kids is like the most annoying thing ever if you're a mom you know I bought Cam some really like nice Adidas shoes they were like the the limited edition Toy Story ones with Rex uh, but you have to tie them up and they're such a pain to get on and off so all these little Mickey PJs for Quentin it says one and only Mickey with the, like the long pants so I got him this little set and I got it in 2T because this stuff shrinks like crazy so I always go up in size with that um, oh my god you guys how cute is this little pullover 
Um, this is also for Quentin. I don't think I got Cam any clothes, although I do need to order him some more clothes because he's like, Cam is another one. Like he's growing so fast, you guys. I ordered him, I feel like a couple months ago, I got him a ton of things from, it was either H&M or Zara, and I feel like he's already pretty much outgrown almost all of it. So I got to do another order of stuff for him, but um, I love this little Mickey pullover. I think like the uh, little orange color is really cute. And then I got Q these little camo joggers. 18 month I was gonna get him the 2T but they looked massive and he has like little legs so I just got him the 18 month of those and then I got him a couple long sleeve shirts these are Cat and Jack um this little like pumpkin colored one I love this color on him I really gravitate towards this color when I'm shopping for Quentin I don't know why I feel like he looks really good in this so I got a 2T in that and then I also got this cute little gray thermal um, in 2T as well and they have a bunch of different colors so really cute and then what is this oh whenever I go to Target I go straight to the Magnolia line you guys know like most of the decor in my home I feel like is from the Joanna Gates Magnolia line at Target because everything is just so beautiful I know I am very late to the game on that but um anyway um, so this is something else I found in that section. It is a big candle. I don't know where I'm going to put this at all, but it smelled so good. It's, what is the scent? Rat, rat I'm going to pronounce this wrong and I don't even know what it means. Rattan, raton, R-A-T-T-A-N. Well, I don't even know what that means. But it smells so good. And it like reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on it, but um it's really pretty the candles they they have the best candles you guys i love them i loved their pumpkin one that i got for fall um that i talked a lot about but i have no idea where i'm putting that one and then last but not least i got a couple pillows from target so i found this one i thought was cute with the little tassels and this is the magnolia line and then i got another one so yeah and then i got this one so same thing i just got two of them um, I think those will look really cute on the couch. So that is everything I got from Target. I wanted to show you guys a few new decor items that I got for the living room. And I think it's looking so good. I literally feel like I had nothing after I took the Christmas decor down. Um, I had no pillows or anything for the couch, nothing for the mantle. And then I switched around a few things um, on the entertainment center right here. So, um, the only thing really I need now is the coffee table and I still have not <laughs> figured out which one I want. So I'm still deciding on that. Um, but I do want to bring in like some warmer, like brown tones to this space just because it's like so white. Um, I did recently get this throw which I am obsessed with it is a barefoot dreams it was on sale at Nordstrom and I had a gift card for my birthday for my mom so I went ahead and bought this and I think the colors are so beautiful and I love that you can incorporate like red or taupe not red blacks or taupes or browns there's so many different colors in this throw and it's just, so I love the inside too I think it's really pretty so that's going to be the throw I'm going to have there um, I got some pillows from Home Goods. This is one of them. It's like a leopard print. I think that's what it is. It looks like that. Um, just like a cream colored, really soft pillow. And then I got these two uh, from Home Goods as well. And they're like the super soft, like faux, like faux um, fur pillows. And they have like the feathers inside. So it's nice. You can like, you know, do that to them. And then I did get some pillows from Target. So these are the ones that are from the Magnolia line. And they're so pretty. My mom has these too. And I loved them when I saw them on her couch. So I have this big one and then this smaller one with the little tassels that go together. And then I did the same thing over here. So got that big one and then that one. And then this is an old throw I actually got um, as an engagement present or it might have been as a wedding present from Pottery Barn, um, like back in the day, but I just have that there. 
All right, so here is the mantle. I'm really loving this. I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else up here, maybe like a couple small things, but I don't want it to be too cluttered. And I think it looks really pretty. So I showed you guys this mirror before. I got this right before Christmas from Kirkland's. And then this is the little olive, the faux olive plant um, that I put right here. I still have to cut the tag off, but I think it looks really pretty right there. And then I got these three candlesticks and candles from Kirkland's. So that is that. And then down here, um, I haven't figured out like what and if I'm gonna put anything here, but I just found this cute little basket from Kirkland's and then I put a couple throws in there. I got this throw from Target. It's really soft. I think that looks cute. And then over here, um, I've showed you all these baskets. I got these, where did I get these from? Target? No, I ordered them online. They might be from like Overstock or, or something. I've got to look them up, but I got these two baskets. Um, originally, I did want to put them in these slots, but they didn't fit, so they're there. And then um, I showed y'all how I styled these shelves before, but I did um, buy these cute little beads from Kirkland's, and I'm not sure where to put them. Like right now, I just kind of threw them in this bowl because I don't know where else to put them, but you can literally put these beads like anywhere, and they're really cute. Um, and then up here, I think I'm liking this. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of deciding. So I got this really long wooden tray from Kirkland's. It's beautiful, you guys. It's so pretty. And you can put like anything in there. And originally I had bought some moss balls from Kirkland's, like those big green ones. And I put those in there and I really liked it, but I don't know. It was like the only green thing in this space. And it was kind of like sticking out a little bit too much. So I found um, these like faux flowers and like these little wooden balls and stuff at home goods like a big pack of them and I thought they were really pretty and kind of went with the whole theme of this and I put those in there so that's what I'm doing right now the boys are watching Coco but I put it on pause so I could film this for you guys <laughs> over here uh, you guys have seen all this stuff before um, so I left that the same the little anywhere chairs from Pottery Barn I have down here for now, but I think I'm gonna put them up in the playroom or maybe like in the boys' rooms. On this wall, I really wanna do something because it's just like so bare. So um, I was thinking of getting like one of those little like side, side tables, side boards, or whatever it's called and putting it right here and then maybe putting like a really pretty mirror above it. Um, so that's just like what I'm thinking, but we'll see what I end up doing with that. Whoa, you can run so fast in your new shoes. Shoes? We're about to play some Go Fish. Cam is like a master at Go Fish. He's so good. Is it your favorite card game? I'm telling you, it's my favorite in the And I just made my mom and I the chocolate martinis that I made for Hanukkah. They're so yummy. Me? You I, won? Uh -huh. I got two. Can my mom only that two and buy it out five? Can I show them my new shoes? Sure. Show them your new shoes. Look, guys, I got new shoes. Wow. They're so cute. Don't care. 